Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, it's Amin Omar here. And after writing this book, The Shepherd's Way, The Muslim Man's Path to Islamic Masculinity, I sat down and I thought, if this is my mission, then what problem am I helping my brothers with? I sat down, I thought about it, I read books about it. I spoke to many, many brothers, and I just wanted to know what is that big problem? And after all that research and all that thinking, I came down with these main problems. So the first one, this is a big one. The lone sheep gets eaten by the wolf. There are too many brothers out there who are lonely, right? And they might not say it, but they're lonely and they're lacking that social interaction, that network, that support from people around them who can actually help them, who are strong. And people especially who are on their wavelength. Some of them, they have friends who are bad influences. Some of them have friends who are just losers and they're happy to be that way. But there are brothers out there who have high ambitions, but the people around them do not reflect that. And as you know, you are the average of five people that you spend the most time with. So this is a big problem. The lone sheep gets eaten by the wolf. Shaitan loves to attack the lone believer. So we must roll in packs and we must protect ourselves with good influences around us. So that was the first problem. The second problem is this false choice between success in the dunya and the akhirah. You know, you find a lot of people, they're going out and they're focusing on the religion. They're focusing on their worship, but then they struggle with just providing for their family sometimes. And then there's the other side where they fully, what color is your Bugatti and all of that. They're fully going into, how do I just make money, 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 money? How do I enjoy myself? How do I just seek comfort instead of seeking impact? And the thing here is that you do not need to choose between the two. And in fact, us Muslims, most of the time, we want to get the money. We want to get that success so that we can benefit our akhirah. We want to impact the world. We want to live comfortably to some level. We want to bring, provide comfort for our families. And so you do not have to decide between the two. And some brothers are stuck thinking they have to pick, right? And we want success in both the dunya and the akhirah. The other problem is that it's clear when you look at what's going on in the world, it's clear that the ummah needs men and it needs leaders. But a lot of the young men who are going to be the leaders of tomorrow, they're not stepping up. They're not stepping up. And some of us, we know that deep down. I know I did. Going through a lot of my early 20s, that's what I was thinking about. Damn, I'm a loser. Damn, I'm not a leader. Damn, I don't deserve respect. I was lacking confidence. But what I've come to realize after getting out of that pit is that it's not fully our problem. We've got Shaitan on the path trying to stop us. Shaitan knows the biggest way the Ummah will wake up is with young men stepping up, stepping up their levels in their finances, in their ibadah, in their belief in their health, all of this, and shaitan does not want it. So what does he have for us? What does he have in store? He's got distractions, you know, the, the video games, the porn, the sugary food and the fatty food and the heavy food that just makes you want to sleep a bit more, right? Um, no consistency, you know, you have that ambition, but you always stop after the first week or the first month, you always stop. Also just drive, having drive also comes down to testosterone, lack of testosterone, estrogen in the water, etc. This is a problem and a lack of discipline as well. These are the evils that Shaitan puts in our path to block our action and block us reaching our potential of being the next leaders of the Ummah. And then finally, men don't get the respect and authority that even drives them to be leaders and to be confident, right? They need that respect. We thrive off respect. And when you get respect, you, get, you have responsibility, you should get authority to go with it. But we don't get that because sometimes we're just not action taking men, right? Sometimes we don't deserve it. And sometimes, yes, the people around us do not give it to us, even though we deserve it. So these are the big problems. Basically, Muslim men, a lot of us, alhamdulillah, we have high ambitions. We want to do a lot. And a lot of the time, we don't even want to do it just for ourselves. We want to do it for our families and for the ummah and to fight the enemies off. But we can't do that without consistency, without the action taking, the drive. Okay, so that's the problem. Now, what is the solution? Well, to summarize it short, in short, a short way, a clear and simple methodology. We all need to be on one methodology. We all need to be clear on, okay, the way to overcome these evils and the way to reach my potential and get more out of life is X, is this way. So we all need to be aligned on that. The second thing, and of course, this methodology needs to come from someone who knows what they're talking about. It, it needs to come from someone who understands human behavior and how do we change our behavior? How do we fight off shaitan and the shackles? And the next thing is coaching and mentoring. This is such a big thing. I think as much as we hear about it more and more recently, it's not focused on enough and it's still underplayed, right? Coaching is something that, and mentoring is something that changed my life. You know, my business partners, 
we started working together and they're eight years older than me. And so they actually mentored me. And that was one of the big turning points in my life. I've gone Alhamdulillah to coach a lot of brothers. So for example, Amr, he was saying uh, after I did a, just one coaching session with him, he said, I mean, he showed he's very well versed in business and self-development. He gave practical advice and shared invaluable lessons from his own experiences. And I would see, I would recommend anyone to seek advice in those areas from him, right? So coaching and mentoring is such a big deal. Mentoring is learning from someone who's a few steps ahead of you in the game. And coaching is having someone to check you, someone to question you, someone to make sure that whatever's coming out of your mouth, whatever's happening in your actions, that that's aligned with what you really want. It's not just someone telling you, do this, do that. No, it's someone to make you realize, are your actions, are your words in line with what you really want? And to make you question yourself and get to your blind spots and deal with those blind spots. So that's coaching and mentoring. Another key solution is community. And this is the big thing, the lone wolf, the lone sheep gets eaten by the wolf. We need to band together. We need to support each other. You know, there was a book written about depression and how it's nothing to do with just chemical imbalances in your brain. It's nothing to do with the fact that, oh, I take this medicine and it will fix it. It's actually mostly to do with support network, having people around you that you know have got your back. Ultimately, that's what it came down to. And so community is key for keeping you healthy even and also driving you forward to take action, stay consistent with it and even raise your standards. I remember I went to Hajj and I was with some really good brothers, very mashallah, amazing brothers, friendly, nice, but also a lot of them were Hufaf Quran, they memorized the whole Quran. And so just being with them, they're constantly mentioning ayahs here and there, and they're constantly making me realize, damn, I need to up my game. And that is what strong community and brotherhood does for you. It makes you think, I want to up my game. Oh, that is possible. I had another friend. He was younger than me, much younger than me. I think six years younger than me. But we started hanging out when I was living in Dubai. And he was very, very successful in business, multi-millions per year. And he was very young as well. And just me mixing with him made me realize, oh yeah, that's possible. Oh, that's possible. I could do 100K a month. Oh, he lived in Burj Khalifa. I used to go visit him in Burj Khalifa, just looking around there thinking, this is all possible. This is all doable. This guy's doing it. And he's a practicing good Muslim brother. And he's doing it. It makes you raise your standards and realize what you can do. And when you and your friends and the community and the brothers around you, when you all know what is possible, when you're not reaching towards what is possible, it makes you look a bit dumb, doesn't it? It makes you feel a bit dumb and makes you inspired to take action. So community, it's about realizing what's possible. It's about supporting each other to, towards action. And finally, accountability. Accountability is key. You know, accountability is proven to improve your performance. It's proven that if you just have someone checking in on you saying, you said you would do that, did you do it? You said you would do that, did you do it? Just that alone increases your action taking by up to 90% according to research. So accountability is key, having someone just checking in on you. And ultimately on the day of judgment, when you say to Allah today, you're Muslim, on the day of judgment, Allah is gonna ask you, did you live up to that? Did you do what you said you would do? And accountability is helping you to ask that question now while you're still alive. You said you would do that, did you do it? So when we put these things together, then it becomes a complete solution for those problems that I'm talking about. And it almost leaves nowhere for shaitan to get in. You know, shaitan, he comes from our left, he comes from our right, he comes from below. But this, it's like a sealed off wall away from him. And if he ever does get at us, we've got our brothers around us to stop us. So this is the ultimate solution coming together all in one place. Now, what is that place? It's the front row. What is the front row? The idea for, of the front row is that you're in the front row of the battle against your nefs, against shaitan, against the enemies plotting out there. You're at the front row in the masjid. You're striving in your worship because we know that we can't succeed, we can't change the world, we can't go to Jannah without being striving in our worship with Allah and our relationship with Allah. So you're at the front row of the battlefield, the front row in Salah and the front row, the cutting edge, the bleeding edge of whatever's out there. The latest workout techniques, the latest um, businesses, the latest finance methods for dealing with money, investing money, the latest. We want to be on the cutting edge. We want to be on the front row. So that's the idea. It's a community that focuses on helping Muslim men become high impact men of action. And I know a lot of you want that because a lot, I spoke to a lot of you. You want to do a great things. You have ambition, but you don't have the bite in your action taking. So become high impact men of action, earn the respect of those around them. And that's a big thing as well for us men, respect. We get fuel of respect 
from the brothers around us, from the women in our lives, from our wives, from our fathers. We need that respect that fuels us and get more out of life where everybody is aligned towards the same goal, high performance, success in the dunya and success in the akhirah without compromising on those things. And we're all on a mission to destroy procrastination, inconsistent action taking, loneliness and a lack of drive. We're all together fighting these demons together. And the focus is on taking real action and collaboration. Taking real action and collaboration with like-minded Muslim men, not long, boring videos. Because there is a level of information that you'll get and there is a level of information that you need. But ultimately, the key thing is taking a bit of information but actually taking action on it. And having the support and accountability from your brothers around you to go and do that. To actually take the action and stick with it. And it feels like hanging out with friends but with real life results. So it's not going to be something that you have to slave over always. There will be hard work to do, of course, to change our lives and change the world, inshallah. But when we're sitting with our brothers, we get inspired without actually having a lot of uh, having to put a lot of effort into it. And it uses the best expert secrets, daily accountability, an Islamic perspective, which is very important, and the power of elite brotherhood. So the brothers in this community, they're not going to be anyone. They're not going to be the type of people that you find in Facebook groups and Telegram groups and WhatsApp groups that are just spamming videos and making fun and, and criticizing people. No, this is a selected group of brothers who are all ambitious and are all serious about taking action. And the Islamic perspective is very important. I speak to a lot of brothers. I coach brothers today. Just last week, a brother told me that he's feeling this way and that way. And it turns out this, his way of thinking was influenced by the non-Muslims. If he had an Islamic way of thinking, he would feel much more positively about things. So we always need to come back to that. We always need to come back to, do, are we seeing the world from an Islamic perspective, which is the best perspective for success? And also we want to turn up the levels in our finances, in our worship, in our health, and in our marriage and relationships. So these are like the main areas that we're going to be focusing on. And it's run by myself, Amin Omar. Uh, alhamdulillah, I've had success in online business. Been working on that for a few years now, five, six, seven years now. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we've got to multi six figure level. Alhamdulillah, very good. And I've also been coaching people for years, whether it's in, in business, whether it's in their life goals, whether it's in their health, their weight loss. I've been coaching people, Alhamdulillah, for a few years. And we have a lot of good things to say about that. And of, of course, I'm an author. I authored this book, which is for Muslim men as well. And from writing this book, I did a lot of research. I went deep into the rabbit hole of what the problems are and what the solutions are for Muslim men. And I just want to show this Ibrahim, who I worked with, I've been coaching for a few years and I've been coaching through my business program as well. And he had a few words to say. Alhamdulillah, over the past, you know, uh, month, I've been able, it's actually been less than a month. I've been able to earn, uh, you know, over 2000 US dollars. I think it's been close to 2700 US dollars in revenue. And Alhamdulillah, it's been an absolutely, you know, a uh, crazy experience just like being able to sell, like get, you know, my first few clients. Um, I really want to thank the team of SimCO specifically for all the help over the past few months. And, you know, you guys have really helped me so much to really embody what it means to, you know, start from scratch, you know, start from absolutely zero, you know, living at home with my mom and really just, you know, uh, embody what it means to be a business owner and help others and really impact other people uh, through my business. Um, you know, one thing I've learned that stood out to me actually over the past few months is just the importance of coaching and, and mentorship and guidance. And, you know, if I could go back in time, I probably would have invested a lot sooner, like back when I was 17 or something like that. And so I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to the team at Muslim CEO, uh, to brother uh, Amin, Mohammed, Faisal, all of you guys have been really, really helpful. Yeah, so that's what Ibrahim had to say. And by the way, he, at that point, he had made $2,700, but he went on to make more than $10,000 now, alhamdulillah. And I'm still coaching him today, actually. One of, the, one of the best clients I've had, alhamdulillah. So um, that is my coaching. I'm an author as well, alhamdulillah. And I'm always on the front lines of personal development, behavior change. How do we actually change the ummah? Because I believe that it will take a few Muslim men to change the ummah. It will take a few. It will not take the masses. It will take a few. So I sat down and I thought, okay, I've got my business going, it's going well, that's fine. Now, what do I need to do? What is my mission? And I decided my mission is to become a leader and to produce and to make new leaders for the ummah. So that's my mission now. And that's what the front row is all about. Producing leaders, coming together and becoming leaders for ourselves, for our families, for the ummah. So how does it work? When it comes to the instructions and the guidance, the guides that you have, we're going to cover these areas. So first phase one, we're going to cover the model that we're all going to follow. We're all going to be aligned on the same path. We're going to then go to phase two, which is conquering the mind and building the identity. This is something that's been a big breakthrough for me. The fact that the way you think about yourself will actually automatically change your behavior. It's extremely important. 
Number two, uh, number three, sorry, building the number one meta skill. You know what the number one meta skill is? It's the ability to learn and change your behavior and to be consistent on that. That is the number one meta skill. So we're going to dive into how do we actually change our behavior. And then once we, check, can, we know how to change our behavior, we can focus that technique and that method on any behavior we want. So that's when we go into talk about finances, making it, keeping it, investing it. We talk about worship turning belief into real action and proving to Allah that, yes, I do believe in you. I do worship you. I do believe in the day of judgment. And phase six, we go to health, the rules for sleep, diet, and movement. And phase seven, people, communication, and marriage. So we learn the meta skill of how to change our behavior. And then I'm going to go into the details of what are the top behaviors you're going to want to establish in these areas of your life to become a top performer in it. And what I'm going to be focusing on as well is the 80-20. The right? The meaningful things that you can do in all those areas to actually make an impact. You know, there's a lot of advice out there, do this, do this and do that. And even from experts. And sometimes they're just throwing it out there because they've got another YouTube video that they need to put out there. So let me just give this advice. But that advice is something you should do when you're already a top performer, but they're not giving it custom to you. So we need to focus on the big chunky things that's going to get us the foundation in that area. And then even a bit higher. And the last 10, 20% of performance We'll deal with that then, but we need to first focus on what really matters, what's really going to move the needle for us. So these are the areas um, of guidance that I'm going to give. But of course, we can talk about hijrah, we can talk about business, career, marriage, we can talk about so many things. Because alhamdulillah, I've been able to live in multiple Muslim countries and move countries multiple times from UAE to Turkey now. I've done it, so we can talk about that. And any areas of life that we need advice on, decision making as well, we can talk about that. It's not restricted to these areas, inshallah. Now, what's included? There's a community portal to collaborate and network with other members in the front row. And so this is going to be an amazing portal that is set up specifically to encourage interaction, engagement, learning from each other, networking with each other. And it's all going to be in one place. Secondly, we're going to have a coaching call every single week, a coaching and collaboration call. These calls is going to be like the benefit of me coaching you one-on-one, -on -one, which I've done for multiple people with to, to great results. People getting married, people are losing weight, people growing their business, making thousands and ten, over $10,000. And we're going to take that and we're going to do that in a collaborative setting. So I'm going to be coaching you, but there are going to be other brothers there learning from the other people's questions and answers. But also, we're going to give each other tips and advice where, where it makes sense, right? So we're going to have a call like that every single week where you can take one, two hours of your week out to just get recharged, get energized, raise your standards, raise your motivation, but also get your answers, your questions answered. We're also going to have your own accountability check-in coach. So like I said, accountability will increase your results, your performance by uh, up to 90%. So you can have your own coach checking in on you. So you're going to say, look, I want to focus on getting X done. You're going to commit to that and you're going to tell the check-in coach, I did it. If you do not check in with them, what will happen? They will chase you until you report it. So we're going to have accountability built into this whole thing. And you're going to have your own coach chasing you to make sure you get things done that you want to get done. And of course, the instructional guides from Amin in the form of these modules over here, these videos. Now, the investment. Just to put it in perspective, my coaching, if you were to do a coaching call with me every week, um, that will cost you about £5,000. Okay. Now, that is fully worth it because that really will, inshallah, change your life. But just to give you an idea of what that kind of stuff costs, not to mention the community, not to mention the actual instructional guides on exactly how to change your behavior and exactly how to level up in finances, wealth, worship and relationships. Right. But the investment to join the community is less than a nice holiday. Right. A nice holiday. It lasts seven days, maybe 10 days and it's over. You got a few photos, you know, you put it on Snap or whatever you put it on Instagram and it's over. You have some memories, some nice experiences, but it's over after that. Or a new laptop. You buy a laptop, okay, it's good. Could be an investment for you, but you also might spend a lot of time just watching Netflix or whatever on it. So it's less than what it costs to buy those things. A lot of people are going out there buying a new phone every year. Every two years, they're spending thousand pounds, thousand dollars on a phone. Um, a lot of people are buying trainers for just a few hundred pounds. So this investment is absolutely gonna make sense, especially considering you get support from your brothers and from me for a year. So it's a yearly membership and you, the investment is extremely cost effective.
Amin here from the future telling you how you can join the front row. It's very simple. So if you're not already on this page, you go to this page and below this video, there will be a big button that you click to go to pick a date and time to speak to me. Everyone is going to speak to someone before they join the front row. It is purely by application. So you'll pick your date and time. You'll fill in an application, answer a few questions. We'll get on a call and we'll see if you'd be a good fit for the community, see what you can bring to the community and see if we can help transform your life in the membership period as well. This is not something where we're, where we're going to pack out hundreds and hundreds of people into this community. It's going to be very much quality first. And so there will always be a member limit in place. Um, there will be an overall member li membership limit. And also right now there is a 10 member limit for new people to join this batch. When we first opened it up, there was a member limit of 10 people and we filled that up very quickly in 10 days approximately. So you're going to want to move quickly, file your application right now. Let's have a chat. Let's see if we can help. Let's see if you'd be a good fit. And inshallah, we'll get you on board within that time before the time runs out and before those slots run out. Right now, there are three or four people who have already shown interest in joining the next batch. So that might potentially mean there are not 10 slots available. There might just be seven slots available. So keep that in mind and just think, do I want this? Do I want somebody, a community of people focusing on my development, me taking my development seriously and becoming that man of action that I want to be? and to get that respect and to have people pushing me out of my comfort zone to achieve the ambitious goals that I have in mind. Think about that and book your call inshallah and I hope to see you on the inside. Assalamu alaikum.